Start cutting away. Alaskan Mill, the original. So here are all the parts laid out. The diagram and all the bolts. So I guess I could count them all up to make sure I've got them all, but that's no fun. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start putting it together. There's the measurement gauge on there. If you can see it, looks like it goes all the way up to to like 13 inches. Mm -hmm. I guess this wrench too they give you fits with your chainsaw and it will do all the fits all the bolts too so a little U I guess a U bolt. See that? And there's like a little wedge that fits. It's got an angle. Get a good grip on the bar. I'm going the wrong way. Righty tighty, lefty. Let me see that was lefty. It's the first time I've done one of these how to videos, so I probably will be uh, getting rid of a lot of this stuff. Who wants to see some guy trying to put some stupid bolt on a. Anyway. But it's exciting. It's amazing what people will watch though on YouTube. I watch some. It's just, I mean, it's not bad, it's just almost really boring. Sometimes I'll try to make my wife watch it with me. She puts up with me for a little bit, but then she usually goes off to do something else or read a book or something. Because <laughs> I like watching all these how-to videos and seeing how people do things. It's cool. The bars laid out, and it looks like I want to put all these nuts in vertically, or the bolts in, not the nuts. Mm. That's what the picture shows anyway. I'm not doing this by memory, I've got the directions up where you guys can't see them. Where it goes here. Hold it together. This one. Let me see. I'm gonna take the lock washer off of this. I'll be back in a sec. Lock washer doesn't go there. Regular washer goes there. Okay, correct washer, which doesn't seem correct to me, but you know, probably do it again. <laughs> so this goes over here. Got the new washer on, which it looks too big, but I mean it's not supposed to be. So anyway, I think these just pop on the bolts here. This isn't so bad. There's probably people watching going, Oh, you're doing that the wrong way! Unless you cross-thread it. It doesn't do very good at all to begin with. I think this bolt is crappy. Sorry, Denberg. <laughs> yeah, that first thread is weird. I might just have to work it past that. So what I can use there, the tool they supplied me with. That's right. I gotta put this really cool sticker on the mill somewhere. I don't know. The Alaskan mill, the original. <laughs>
So these go, these little ones go. Here. So you can take that bad boy up. It said there was a washer. But I didn't get any. That would be part number two. A no longer used part is what it says. Okay, well that's why I didn't get it. What happens when you read the directions? Uh, except for this really cool, the original. Okay, I'll stop doing that. If you don't succeed, we'll try, try again. This is low budget. Oh, yeah. And that's good. Not the other side on. You have to believe me, but I'll show you later. So it looks like it's easier if we tighten this up in the air. And then we don't have to fight. All the pieces moving around at the same time. Static electricity. Okay, I'll put it and squeeze my fingers. Nice one should be easier. Supposedly. Oh, washers. Anyway, let's see. Let's get that. I know that's not how you're supposed to do it, but at this point, I'm just going to do it so it works. So at some point, we'll loosen those up and then we can put it on the chainsaw. Chainsaw will go in this way. And then it'll run inside this, basically. And then this top portion, it's not put together yet all the way, will sit on the top of the board that I put on top of the actual log so it's flat and we'll run it down with the chainsaw and we'll cut boards tomorrow. It's really fun to do the little end caps. It keeps you from I like, guess cutting your hand on there. I'm supposed to use it with probably a little hammer but I just whack them in with my hand. Okay, I think I have put it together. So see the end there. And the chainsaw will fit in between these little clamps. And I'll go get the chainsaw and see if it fits. Struggling, I got it on. So it's now in here. I had it extended out too long, but you can see, and then you flip it flat, basically, like so. This is wrong. It seems wrong to me. I guess you want to go this way. So I ended up putting the handle on backwards after all. So I guess we could just put it on here and then we can put it on the piece of wood and just start cutting away. 